You know, there's only one way I can describe this week's episode of Ori Monogatari. And I hope you don't have your volume too loud, because the only way I can describe it is... Sukido! I loved this week's episode. It was so intensely emotional. Like, really. I'm not sure how other people will have thought of it. But I really, really empathised with Sunakawa. It was just too sad for him, man. I mean, last week built us up for this awesome episode. But it didn't really build us up for just how amazing it was going to be. Like, I didn't expect it to get as emotional as it did. I thought it would be over quite quickly. But the whole episode was devoted to Sunakawa again and his father. So spoiler flag up and let's get into this awesome episode. So right at the beginning of this episode, we had another flashback to Sunakawa playing by himself at sunset. And this was quite sad because, I mean, we had that at the beginning of the last episode too. And we found out that the time he was so depressed was when his dad was in hospital before. And so it just kind of reminded us, oh yeah, crap, Sunakawa's in some real trouble here. Straight from the get-go, we knew this was going to be a sad episode. Like right after that, we had that nice emotional moment of Takeo and Sunakawa meeting outside and just Takeo respecting Suna's wishes. Just kind of giving him a bro fist and being like, you go bro, you do your thing, I'll do mine. I respect your wishes. And that was so sweet because I got to admit, I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to just say, okay, I'll respect your wishes and go off by myself. I would have to go with him. And that would have probably made the dude feel so much worse. But that's just the kind of person I am. So Takio is quite a bit better than I am at handling things. <laughs> so that was great. Takio had his awesome date with Yamato and it was just so emotional. So damn sweet. Like Yamato has her moments when she's a bit too sweet. But in this episode, it was just perfect. Like, she still was a bit too sweet, but it's gotten to the point where you've gotten used to it or gone into a diabetic coma and stopped watching the show. <laughs> Either way, by now, you probably love Yamato and how adorable she is, and she is just so cute. So this date where she was finally getting to be happy and spend time with her boyfriend was amazing. Seeing her do all the little blushing shy things at the bowling alley when they were taking the selfie... Her getting her present, her going and having her birthday wishes sung to her by the people at the cake shop. It was just so adorable. It was like the perfect date. And it was so cute that Sunakawa planned that all out and like set up everything for them. Like called ahead to the cake shop to let the guys know, oh, it's this chick's birthday. Sing her a birthday song when you get her a cake. It's like so adorable. Takio couldn't do that well. Sunakawa was the one who did that. So Sunakawa was so romantic for Takeo. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> That's like beyond bromance. That's like being well beyond a wingman or a bro or any kind of thing. That's being a proper, even beyond a brother. That's like a soulmate right there. <laughs> Someone who's just completely supporting you as he can. That was adorable. And so this was, even though there was that cute little date between Yamato and Takeo, this was really more an episode for Suna and Takeo. Because their bond was what really kept this episode going and made it so sweet. But, like I said, the scenes with Yamato and Takeo were really sweet. And as soon as she found out about the dad's surgery, she was like, nah, you gotta go. <laughs> go. You shouldn't have been hiding that from me. Just go to Suna. And that was just so sweet of her. Like any other girlfriend, like from real life, might have probably had some reservations about it or would have decided to go with them just to make them feel better. But she knew that she wouldn't even be wanted there. She was just like, go by yourself. Go to him. Go. He needs you. It was that kind of thing. And it was so adorable. And you could tell that she felt horrible about it anyway. Even as Takeo ran off by himself and she was happy to see him go into Suna's side, she was crying and it was so sad. And I was really worried there that it was going to have repercussions. That she was going to realise at that point that even though Takeo loved Yamato, he's still always going to love Suna more. <laughs> and that is something I honestly do believe. Because of how long Suna and Takeo have been together, I think those two are the real soulmate in this series. <laughs> Messed up as that is, like, it's not even that messed up. They just are pretty much brothers at this point. 
They actually have a better friendship than most brothers have, which is just awesome for them. And then they got to the hospital, had their little moment where Suno was being a bit aggressive to Takio, as you would expect. Because he was just like, you shouldn't be here, you idiot, go away, kind of thing. But at the same time, you could tell he wanted him there and his uncle had already gone off to work by himself and it would just sucked for Suno. Suno was having a hard time and he needed Takio there. So it's a good thing he was there. It was just so sweet to see him. And it was just great having them sit with each other and Takio taking the little bits of abuse and just being like, I'm going to sit here anyway. He's my friend, just let me sit here kind of thing. And then when the doctor came out and Takio shook him all around, like, just give us the damn answer kind of thing. <laughs> that was amusing. It made Sunakawa laugh. And then the family showed up and did the same thing. So that poor doctor, he got it all around the place, which was just amazing. <laughs> like the doctor was actually one of the funniest bits. And then obviously they met Yamato again. And she was like trying to make the thousand cranes of origami kind of thing. And she only did a couple, but it was just so nice of her to actually show up and be there and show her support. Because just like Takio couldn't leave Suno alone, Yamato couldn't leave Takio or Suno alone. And yeah, this episode just gave you all of the warm and fuzzies. This is what this anime does every week. Like, even when it's being super sad and emotional and making you feel bad, you still go out of it feeling really happy and really joyous. Like, even if the dad had had troubles, it would have just been nice for all the other romancy bits that happened. But I'm glad that he didn't have troubles, because the bit when Suno was crying and saying it was all his fault and that it was because he didn't go home in time, I was crying at that point. I'm not going to lie, I felt terrible. Like, I'm sure a lot of other people have been through that situation before, so have I at one point. And remembering that, and hearing Makoto's little whimpo as he tried to hide his tears, that was just adorably sad. So damn emotional. The Seiyu is amazing. And Suna's just an amazing character. And that's what I want to end on. It was just an amazing episode. So emotional. So cute. 10 out of 10 from me. No, no, there's actually a better bit I want to finish on. Just for the comedy factor. <laughs> When they just joked about the fact that Sunakawa needs a girl who's like Takio. And they imagined that big beefy girl that kind of looked like the chick out of Danganronpa. Who was like in a skip schoolgirl outfit, but super muscly and tanned. That was amazing. And Sunakawa was just like begging them like, please no, please no. It was just intense. Amazingly funny. And I have to completely agree with them on that. That's exactly the kind of girl he needs. But preferably pretty, just with Takio's personality. <laughs> Leave your views in the comment section below. i will love to be able to read them to see if it managed to make you guys cry or if it didn't. Or So thanks for listening, guys. Really. If you just loved the comedy bits, if you just loved the romancy bits, if the sad bits really got to you like they got to me. Yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed the review. And subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.